Hi guys, I'm Mohammad Shahzad. Arshad, now we are going to scan our Cisco switch with the NASA Swarnability Scanner. As you guys know, in my previous videos, we saw how to oh, scan Windows 7, and before that, we saw how to scan, how to install NASA's uh, server. So uh, the guys who is looking this video, I would suggest them to go back uh, and watch the previous videos so you will have a better idea to start from here to how to scan a Cisco switch. So let's go. Today we are going to scan a Cisco switch. I have two switches. One we will scan a layer two switch and one we will uh, scan a layer three switch which have a VLANs and inter VLANs routings. So let's go and uh, log into our uh, NASA server. I will go to my web page and uh, I'll give, I have given the IP address. And as you know, we need uh, to put the port number like 8834. So you will come on a login page. I'll go give the password. Sign in. Okay. So we are here and uh, in the previous video, we saw that how we can scan a Windows 7. We saw that our scanning, last time we scanned Windows 7. <clears throat> so let's see. Just wait. Just taking time because I just booted the system. As you know, we have created our uh, NASA server on our vCenter. Is collecting the data which already in the database of NASA. So meanwhile, we'll go and uh, create you know one folder here, and we'll say. is create okay and let's see it's the previous one see this one uh, the windows 7 last time we uh, did and uh, there is some vulnerabilities okay let's go and in the switch and create a new uh, network uh, new scan and i'll go for advanced okay so here we have to give uh, general the name uh, like the what scan it is say l2 switch the scanning name okay um, scanning l2 switch okay folder switches and ip Verify if this is our switch. I think this one. Yeah, four. And let's have a uh, okay. Verify the password. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is the target we set. Now we'll go for credentials. Here in the credentials, we will say SSH because. Uh, our uh, it's not a windows so we will, it's a switch so we will choose ssh in ssh it will say what you want to give i say password and uh, username is admin and password is okay and uh, privileges if you want to other it's a cisco enable if you want to give that one Okay, so okay, so this is done, and we will go in plugin. Okay, and we'll go for Cisco. So it's 1384 plugins, and we will say save. I will come down and press save. Okay, so it's created our scan. Uh, here it will come in the switches 
see so now i will uh, run the you know launch the scanning and if our passwords and everything log into the switch it will take time and then uh, let's see uh, it will come with the scanning okay it's uh, created and now it will start scanning checking if there is something wrong uh, with the password i cannot log in it will return us some information right now it's trying to connect let's wait for a while Okay, so me is it something wrong there? So we'll check credentials again. Ah, it's okay. It's graphically. Let's see. Ah, it's scanning the NTP is okay. Let's go back and do it again. Yeah, it's scanning because it's a uh, graphic I open in a web page. That's why maybe it's still scanning. So it started took the password and has show us showed us some uh, vulnerabilities. So I will pause the video when it's done. Uh, I'll come back and share the things with you guys. OK, guys, it's uh, completed. And uh, now we'll check what are the vulnerabilities in this switch. We'll just click and see. We have uh, like one critical, three high, 11 medium, and two is okay, low, but 33 is informatic. Let's see, click here and start from critical. We'll go here and check. This one, what is saying that Cisco iOS web UI cross site frequently. This one, if you see, the garden grid itself, this is the description about this vulnerability. You can read it. And uh, we'll see upgrade to the relevant fix version because this is uh, old switch. So I'll I'll try to do that. But this is related to upgrade the image. So you can do and recommendation is this one. So after that, go back and next check the next one. We'll go back and check the next one. Here we go. It is critical. What is the high? The Cisco ISO software TCP memory leak DOS. Apply the relevant patch. Mostly because my switch is old one, so it's depend on the switch. So that's why. Go to the next one. <laughs> Mostly uh, related to the upgrades. So I want to show you that if there is anything which we can. So these are related to the upgrades and the version. This version, if you see the informatic. It is possible to read the iOS version number by connecting to the router via SSH by using SNMP. These are the things. If we go back, go back and check the SSH multiple users session one what is high the remote SSH demon support connection made using the version this 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 and the protocols are not completely cryptographically safe so they should not be used so I saying that um, SSH should not be used and uh, it's not like see this is the port and uh, we'll go back version sport again and we'll go back back let's check some more 
what is the medium NTPD so most of the uh, relevant to the Cisco uh, upgrades because this is a 20 uh, 950 old switch which we configured network pro NTP see now so this is the the remote NTP server respond to mode 6 queries device and other and blah blah so I can remotely could really exploit this so you can read all the vulnerabilities let's go more NASA scanner, multiple shoes, okay, common platform, device type, Ethernet card, Ethernet MAC addresses. So let's go back on the three high we related to our image and this one. Okay, what I will do, I will download an image from uh, the web page if it is available. So I will apply that image again and let's see how much, how many vulnerabilities uh, we are going to read this off. So I'll pause the video and upgrade the image to the switch and then we will run scan again. Okay guys, I'm back and uh, I have upgraded my image. So let's do it again. Cisco image is upgraded. So I'll show you guys before it was like if I go on my switch I want to show you show flash see my old image was this okay uh, March 1st 1993 it was upgraded and today I uploaded this image the latest one and uh, you know guys this is also not supported supported and from the Cisco for this switch and uh, I have uploaded today 2020 and this time anyway so this is the switch and show boot um, so you can see it's running from the latest one SC12 and SC12 okay so let's go and uh, scan again so we'll go in our switches this is the switch and uh, see before it was like um, one critical three high 11 medium and two low and 13 informatic let's go and run again so this is our switch I will do okay so it will start running again so I'll give some time and uh, let's see after um, complete completed of uh, completion of this uh, scan I'll come back and then we'll move forward okay guys it's uh, completed and let's see what is new I'll go here wow okay this one is done it's, it was three I think it came up came down this one this one and informatics so let's see now what is critical if there is any one just one critical here like Cisco web okay upgrade the relevant fixed version references bug blah 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 okay so this is the switch and then we have a uh, HTTP client and also this one upgrade so if you see now it's a little bit reduced but uh, still there is a lot of because this is discontinue uh, Cisco switch uh, 2950 so let's go and uh, another scan for our uh, uh, L3 switch so I will go new scan advanced and I'll say L3 switch okay L3 switch beginning switch IP is this one let's see if it is pingable yes it's pingable and we'll go for credentials this ssh this is a password username admin and password let's go instead of wrong i will re-enter yes uh, 
ओके password and then other privileges let's check here is any cisco enable okay so here is okay <laughs> okay so this is the password and leave this one as it is you saw my password you guys anyway no problem it's my home lab anyway this is the uh, and then we will choose plugin Cisco so all the plugins selected and click save okay so go switches and now we will run l3 switch okay l3 switch it started now and i'll pause the video when it's completed i'll come back okay guys uh, our l3 switch is also uh, completed the scanning let's see what are the things wow so here also uh, one critical three high 11 mediums and three is okay and 31 is informatic let's see what is critical definitely it will be regarding the upgrade okay this is the web ui cross site request blah 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 the end solution is upgrade the lally when fix and cisco bug okay so next one hi okay again relevant patch <laughs> sorry my switch is uh you know it's uh, old that's why it keeps saying that and uh what are the mediums okay related to patch okay and then uh, our informatics and the cisco versions so we'll go back switch and three again and 31 informatic ssh multiple user ssl okay certificate cannot be trusted so these are the self-signed certificate uh, weak cipher so it's ssl certificate informations so these are the things we can uh, configure and rid of these patches so this is the scanning for switches how to do a Cisco switch is another if you have other switch you can do just create a new skin give a plugin give a password enable password and then uh, SSH credentials so save and then run so this is the video regarding our uh, switches how to scan Cisco switches with the NASUS if you guys like my video kindly uh, click like and subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon for upcoming good videos. Take care, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.